Hey photographers out there, I'm Angela Poynton from Steel Toe Images and I wanted to record this quick video today to talk about something that I've been reading and seeing being posted on Facebook and tweeted about recently and I'm sure you have too. That thing is that um, people seem to think that there are photographers out there calling themselves photographers who aren't and that they are starting to destroy the industry. So I wanted to get on here and talk about that a little bit and see if I could help at all. And really what I've come to learn is that um, this really has nothing to do with photography only. It's affecting quite a few industries. And just because the people have access to more cameras than ever before, we walk around with them in our pockets now and part of our phones, um, does it make it easier to take pictures? Absolutely. But that's not going to destroy the photography industry as a whole. So... In fact, what's starting to happen is that there's just more competition. And when there is more competition in an industry, it can potentially um, commoditize that industry and drive prices down because there's a, a lot of supply and now lesser demand. So we definitely need to get ahead of this, but it's, I don't believe it's going to destroy the industry, and I think the strongest will do well, and this is all about making your business stronger. So how do you do that? Well, there's a concept that I've been starting to think of called the photography spectrum. So if there's a spectrum where it starts at awful, you know, homegrown photographers who have taught themselves, to completely awesome photographers and you fall somewhere on that spectrum, well, a consumer may be coming to you and talking to you about hiring you for a job and choosing a photographer who falls lower on the spectrum. And that's really frustrating to you, and I get that. Well, why are they choosing a lesser photographer? And there's really three um, aspects of that spectrum and three parts of the decision that they're making and they might not even be aware of it until they've made the purchase decision but the first and foremost thing they're definitely aware of and that's price so uh, this by no means um, don't misunderstand me I'm not suggesting that you reduce your price please don't reduce your price uh, but a lot of consumers are choosing, especially if they're ignorant consumers, they're choosing based on price alone. The second thing is quality. So I know as a photographer that you've worked very hard to take amazing images. You've studied composition, you've studied lighting, you've studied design. You, um, you work really hard at making quality images. The unfortunate truth is not a lot of consumers can appreciate the quality of images that you shoot. Other photographers can, that's for sure, but can the consumer who's purchasing your work really discern you between the other guy in the spectrum that they chose? It's something to think about. And Again, I don't suggest that you not spend time on the quality of your images because it's incredibly important and rewarding and, and qualities, I assume, if you're working on it, very important to you as a professional. But the third thing, the third thing is really going to help, um, if you work at it, help your business survive. And that third thing is the experience that you offer your customers. I am willing to bet that the other photographer that Consumer Act chose for a lesser price because they couldn't discern between the quality of the images of you versus this person, their experience was awful, not as good as yours, mediocre, whatever the right word is. So what everyone out there needs to do to 
remain a successful photographer in the years to come is to constantly work on elevating the experience that you offer your customers. There are always areas of improvement. There are always things that we can do differently, better, um, more um, succinctly than we have ever done before. So this is an area that you should be looking at in your business and lighten up. I, again, I don't believe that the photography industry is going in the toilet. I just think that there are more cameras out there. So if you elevate your experience that you offer your customers, you'll stand further apart on that spectrum and word of mouth will continue to spread about your business. People will have a phenomenal experience working with you and it'll separate you so much from the other photographers on that spectrum that it, there won't be really much of a choice anymore. So good luck. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Thanks.